Hello, welcome to our playthrough of Pokemon Snap. So, we got 46 different kinds so far, 122,000 points, and we have to solve the secret of the switch. So, if we get to solve the secret of the switch, then we go to the next course. So, we're in the valley right now. <coughs> yes. There's supposed to be some switch on this level, we're supposed to figure out how to hit it. And then we could go catch the mythical view, right? So there was a great TD out here. Does he spawn when you throw it or does he just jump out? There's a shiny magic carp. So there's the uh, squirtles over here, right? Does Dre TD just jump out or he didn't jump out this time? Oh, there he is. <clears throat> so I guess we're supposed to pester Bob the uh, squirtles over here. There's Dre TD right there. But there was like a shiny Dre TD somewhere, right? So I think we're supposed to like hit the squirtle over the mountain or something, aren't we? The bake is supposed to throw him up there. So there's the sad slash over there. And there's graveler as well. So I think we got a better picture of sad slash up there. Then maybe I'd say a picture of graveler. Didn't seem to do anything. She's supposed to be like a shiny Dratini that jumps out right beside the dragon, I think. And is Garagos supposed to come out here? Is this where Garagos is? How do we get him? Oh, there's magic over here. Are we supposed to hit him? Ah, uh, there's uh, more grapplers over here. Are we supposed to hit him with a pestle bomb and then he comes out? He goes over here, right? Alright. <clears throat> so we figured out how to get him. We caught a Garrett house. Now, next part. <clears throat> so I don't think we're gonna get the switch, right? Were we supposed to do something to get the switch? And can we hit these star youth? Should they do a star beat or something? We're supposed to hit him with a Pezzer Bob, baby. So there is a shiny Dratini back there. Oh, it wasn't shiny. He wasn't shiny this time. Why was he shiny? There's some squirrels up here. Oh, he went up the mountain. Do they hit the switch? Am I supposed to hit him? See where we hit? Hopefully, that's leading towards the switch. There's a gold deed. <coughs> So the gold each up down again, we missed it. Oh, there's a shiny uh, Dre TD right there. So we threw the uh, Squirtle up over here, but the switch isn't moved. So we still have to figure that out then. So I wonder if like shiny Pokemon are just a uh, chance to spawn, like when you see them, maybe they're shiny or something? The Dratini was shiny in a different spot, wasn't he? He wasn't shiny before. He was shiny in the other spot. Huh. <clears throat> so I have to figure out what out then. So it looks like there's no pictures here, right? There's a uh, Dratini. So we got four pictures of Dratini. Two pictures of Squirtle, that's it. I guess we just got two pictures. We'll just take this one when he's knocked out. I guess that works. Four pictures of Dre TD. Alright. So what if there's a shiny Dre TD? There's a better... Wait a minute. That's a Graveler. That's supposed to be a Sad Slash. So apparently that's a Graveler in that picture. Here's Garrett Ghost, right? Which one's better, this one or this one? Probably this one, because gonna say he's bigger and he's in the middle of the picture. So there's the shiny Dre TD right here, right? So we got a picture of a shiny Dre TD. He's not in the middle of the picture. 
no poke butter in that picture. It's just shiny trails. So here's the magic card. So he's gonna say anything if it's a shiny tray TD. So we've got two pictures of Graveler. What's the other one? This one. Yes. So let's check that out then. So let's do this time. This is a Squirtle. All right, 320 points for the size. You've thrown a Pester Ball, 800 points. Oh, if you throw a Pester Ball, it's worth 800 points. Oh. Is the middle 2240. <laughs> so imagine we could get a better Squirtle picture. Sad Slash uh, should be better than our other one, right? Yeah, yeah, because we got him in the middle of the frame this time. So he's worth uh, more than twice the points. Perfect. Then the Graveler. So we can get a better uh, Graveler picture at that one spot. There's like three gra Gravelers there. So here's the Gyarados 890. So the size is very nice. And the pose, it's uh, sh just showing its face. 1,000 points. How's the technique? Pokemon is right in the middle of the frame. Wonderful. All right, 3,780 points. And then the Dratini. So is he gonna say it's a shiny Dratini? 550. How's the pose? Oh, what an amazing jump, 1,200. But he's not in the center of the picture, right? Great. Is it in the middle of the picture? So he didn't say anything because he was a shiny Dratini. Wait. Yeah, so our other uh, last magic carp was better in the cavern. A suspicious switch. Good luck. So we still have to figure out the uh, suspicious Welcome switch back. here then. Yes. <clears throat> so let's see if we can figure it out this time. So here's the Squirtles, right? So the Dray TD didn't come out. Oh, there's a Magic Carp here. Is that what we're supposed to do? The magic carp got thrown over the mountain. I think we did it. I think that was it. So the magic carp, uh, you have to throw the pester ball that he comes out, that he goes over the mountain. Oh, there's a goldeen. That's not a goldeen. There's a Dratini. So I don't think we actually caught Gold Deep yet, right? So where's this uh, badge carp that we threw? So we got pester bots for the water to something. Alright, so here's uh, these grapplers up here, right? We knock them down. So there's the magic art. So let's see if we get a better picture of it, baby. Oh, baby, what do you spray water like that? There's a bakey up there. Will lead it? Nope. Yeah, because it was a shiny Goldie the last time. Or a Dray TV. So let's just see where the Magic Carp is. <clears throat> Are you supposed to do anything else with the Magic Carp? I didn't see one. Squirtle went in this direction. So are we supposed to uh, shoot the Squirtle so it reaches the Bakey up there? Let's see if we get a Goldie to. We didn't figure out the switch yet. Stuff in the air.
<clears throat> All right. So I think we did get some uh, better pictures, but uh, we still didn't figure out the switch. Yeah, we took 35 pictures. So that's a lot. So we definitely got a new Squirtle picture, right? So the size is really good. I don't know if he's in the middle of the frame, though. So there's no Pokemon in those pictures. Sad Slash. So we'll check to see if that's a better Sad Slash picture. Maybe he's in the middle of the frame. Maybe it's a Dre TV in the middle of the frame. We'll try that one. Cause he was uh, spraying water at the end, right? Let's try that one. Then there's a star you. Then there's a. Uh, <clears throat> so we already uh, showed up the Dre T picture. I guess the one we picked was better, maybe. Or maybe that was better. No, I guess we got it. Oh, the, the, the uh, Gravelers, right? We have three of them. Is that a Magikarp? So it's probably not better than our other one. Yes. <clears throat> so we caught Squirtle. So his size is much bigger, and his pose is the same, but uh, he's not in the middle of the frame. So it would have almost been 3,000 points. So sad slash. If we got him in the middle of the frame, it'd be good. He wasn't even in the middle of the frame. Here's Magic Card. So this picture will be first, right? Yep. Dead Ray TD. So this one uh, should be a better picture of him because he's in the center. It's jumping. Oh, he doesn't, uh, he likes the other jump better. Well done. But because he is in the middle of the frame, he is worth more points. Alright, the, the Graveler. <clears throat> so our first picture of the Graveler wasn't really good. Oh, you were close. this picture's worse? I guess that's worse than the other one we had. Oh, how powerful. Oh, so he is uh, he is worth more when he's spraying that thing. So just because of his size, he wasn't worth as much. So if we get that uh, pose at a bigger shot, maybe we get a better Gyarados picture. Starting his size is better. So he doesn't you like the close. pose. <clears throat> Probably because he's facing away from us. Alright. So maybe we That's just have to that. use the uh, Squirtles and try to get him up to the Mankey on the top of the mountain. Not sure what the badge card is. So dude, Pester Bob's the picture, right? Oh, we could even get him up on uh, this side of here. So there was the Dray TD there. There was a Shiny Pokemon. There's Gold Eda. <clears throat> so we didn't knock uh, any of the Squirtles up onto the other water, but there's some over here, right? I don't know if that's a good picture. He can't get to the food over here. A shiny badger card. So it does seem like uh, sometimes they're randomly shiny. So I bet you we probably have to actually get the Squirtle over top of the mountain to do this. Let's see if we get a better Graveler picture that, right? Right in the center of the frame, add this more Graveler to the picture. Oh, we got him! If he hit him, he just flies straight up. <laughs> 
hit this area, the pest probably just fly straight up. Why? It's probably worth more points, right? Because you use the pester bob on him, so you get 800 points for the pose, maybe? There's a shiny Dre TV. So sometimes he is shiny here, sometimes he's not. Oh, here's Squirtle in here, right? <clears throat> so we just have to try to line him up with the uh, bay cap here, I believe. Can I get him? And then he knocks the bakey down. Is that it? So I don't think we've ever caught a gold bead yet. I think we just caught one. So now what do we do? All right, we figured out the switch. So this opens a uh, stage, <clears throat> a whole new stage. How do we get to the uh, Mew stage then? Is this a new stage that isn't the Mew stage? Leads oh. us to a hut. Oh, hi, KY Gabio. What a surprise to see you here. Oh, we beat uh, Professor Oak at this spot. What does he have to say? I suppose you'd like to know why I am here. Oh, well, I received some interesting information at the Pokemon Lab. It seems that there are six Pokemon signs hidden on this island. Six Pokemon signs hidden on this island. They have something to do with important Pokemon that are here. The signs are scenery which seem to resemble Pokemon. We know that there is a Doug Trio here, and we know that there was a Krabby in the first place, or a Kingler, maybe. One sign is a fountain that looks like a Doug Trio. I came here to look for it. However, I can't go any deeper into the island, so I can't find it. It's right at the beginning of the map. Have you seen a mountain that looks like a Doug Trio? Oh, I have an idea. If you find this Pokemon side, take a picture of it like you would a Pokemon. We might discover clues from the pictures and the places where you took them. Oh, shall I repeat this information? No wait. thanks. Oh wait, I will add a page for Pokemon sides in the Pokemon report. Okay, so we have to catch Pokemon, and we actually have to capture the Pokemon sides. See you later. I think we forgot about this part. So we actually have to take pictures of the Doug Trio sides, of the crabby things whose 20 pictures have been taken. So what's a good Squirtle picture? I guess that's the best one we got. And we did get a good Magikarp, right? Shiny Magikarp jumping in the middle. Right in the middle of the frame. Shiny Magikarp. One picture of Sad Slash. Two pictures of Graveler. So what's the better picture? Maybe this one? He is the middle of the frame, right? And we threw a Pester Bob. One picture of Star You. We got a better Dre TD here. And we actually caught Gold D this, this time. So that should be everything, right? <clears throat> we got a Shiny Magic Arp. We could maybe get a Shiny Dre TD somehow. Yes. Except he doesn't say anything if it's Shiny, right? He doesn't uh, know what a Shiny Pokemon is. So what is this? Squirtle. Let me see. This is Squirtle. Squirtle's picture is already in here, but the uh, size is smaller. The pose is uh, not as good. Alright, so we need to get a better Squirtle picture. So I think we have to get like all the Squirtles at one island or something. So here's the shiny Magikarp. This is the Magikarp. Magikarp's picture is the Pokemon that they already. But the size is smaller. The pose. Oh, what a splash. Oh, okay. So the pose is better. How's the technique? It is in the middle of the frame. So this one's worth... 560 more points. Well so he doesn't even recognize that it's a shiny Pokemon. So even if we got a better picture of a Magikarp that wasn't shiny, he'd give us less points. He should give you a bonus if it's a shiny Pokemon. He should be like, wow, you got a shiny Pokemon. He's worth an extra 1,000 points. So this is a Sad Slash. Sad Slash's picture is in the Pokemon report. So this one should be better, right? About to go underground. Is it exactly the same? So 
so it gets through both of the middle of the frame. That works. <clears throat> we'll just keep the same picture. But this uh, definitely should be a better picture, right? No, it's not. It's only 10 points. We're close. How is that spot with three grapplers worth spot to take a picture of that one with that one that's just standing there by itself on the mountain? So we can't start you. The size is smaller. Oh. So whatever we did for our first picture, that's the best one we got. So there's no way this could be better than our other one, right? <coughs> yeah, our other one was already better. Alright, so we already have a good picture of Dratini then. Then Goldeen, we actually were able to catch a Goldeen this time. 310 points. That's a good splash. 1000 points. Perfect. And it, so it is in the middle. 2600 Wonderful. points. Alright. So we should have uh, 50 different kinds of Pokemon. Wait, KY Gabio, let's return to the lab. Something happened where you get 50 different back. types? Here's something to make your search for Pokemon signs easier. Wouldn't it be great if the zero one moved faster? Oh, this is how we get the uh, moving thing, right? We could hold the button to zoom through the map quick. Well, now you can use this dash engine if you want to go faster. It's easy to use. Press R to make zero one move faster. Shall I repeat this information? No. First of all, see the Pokemon side page? Number of Pokemon seed 50, report score 15,000. Uh, I don't see the Pokemon Science page. Maybe it's in the Pokemon report. Here we go. Pokemon Science. Alright. Yeah, I've collected zero Pokemon Science. <clears throat> so I guess we have to collect uh, all these Pokemon Science to find where Mew is, right? Shining brightly somewhere. That's all I know about this. Oh. It is said that somewhere on the island is a mysterious group of huge rocks. Surprisingly, if you look at it from a certain angle, it appears to be a Pokemon shape. So we see this one on the first stage. When light shines on an object, its shadow will appear on the wall behind it. Somewhere there is a shadow that looks like a Pokemon. So there must be a shadow on the second stage that looks like a pits or somewhere. Then smoke changes its shape and some shapes look like Pokemon. Where you can find smoke, you already know. So you have to find a shadow of smoke or something? Have you heard of a tree near the river in the jungle that looks like Cubone? bone No one knows who planted it, but I have heard that someone has seen the tree. It's a mystery. Uh, shining brightly somewhere. That's all I know about this. Oh! So it'd be that uh, place where we see all the gems that were lit up. <clears throat> it didn't make out a picture of Mewtwo or anything. We just see some gems at the cave level. Somewhere in the middle of the steep mountains is a mountain that looks like a Pokemon. I went to the valley to find this mountain. Alright. So let's just see what our best shot is. So our best shot is the surfing Pikachu. It's worth 5,440 points on the beach. Alright. Special 1,000 size 470. So we could probably get a better uh, size for it if we get a better size Pikachu. Alright, I guess let's start going searching for these uh, Pokemon sides then, right? If you go to the beach, yes. we should be able to find the Kingler here. Let's go to R, we just speed through, right? Maybe we get a better picture of uh, Lapras if we speed through the map. So here's the Kingler rock, right? So I wonder what would be the best picture of it. I think that was it. Let's just go through. Let's see if we uh, speed to the back quicker. Baby Lapras is waiting for us. So I think we threw food actually, right? Food is what gets about. If we hit him with food. No, it was Pester Bobs. You have to hit him with Pester Bobs. That's right. You have to manage to hit him with Pester Bobs. What was that? Oh, over here. You should probably get better pictures of Pokemon if you uh, speed through the map, I imagine. I'm pretty sure we got a better picture of Butterfree there. So 
There's the lappers over there, right? And how do we get her to come close to us? Oh, we go there before the pigeons even get them. So is Lapper supposed to appear here or something? Alright, so we only took died. <coughs> Looks like there are no Pokemon here. We took the picture of the side. We took the picture of the side. That's the side. No poke water in this picture. What? Are we supposed to just take a picture of it? Yes. Maybe he'll see it later or something? Water free? Oh, <clears throat> so I think our Butterfree picture might be better. An extra 500 points. So actually, this picture gave us so many points for having a second Butterfree in the back. Well done. 3,500 points. So this one is better than our other one. Lapras. Impossible to get a picture of Lapras. Wait. Let's return to the lab. Did you get the picture of the side? Welcome back. You take pictures at a good pace Here to make your work easier. You. Here is a present for you. Oh. It will come in handy for taking Pokemon pictures. Would you like to see rare Pokemon poses? I sure would, probably. Play this Poke Flute to make it happen. It's easy to use. Oh, press the CD button it allows you to play the Poke Flute. You can listen to different music by pressing down. Try playing it often. Oh, so we get the Pokemon suit. So why didn't we take a picture of the sign? Yes. Let's just take a whole bunch of pictures of this out there. See so how the Pokemon flu is right? Yes. So one of these pictures should be right, right? Wait a minute. <clears throat> I think the R button's uh same thing as that. Alright, we figured it out. So we had the uh, save button that was C down, map to say what that was the boost button. So that wouldn't work. So we just want to go through the map to see if he accepted those pictures of that Pokemon side or not. First time we came through here, he did accept the picture for some reason. Imagine the flute would- oh, the flute's probably for a uh, Storlax especially, right? If you press down, it sings uh, different songs? So imagine maybe a different songs make different Pokemon do different things. There's different songs you could play. <coughs> Alright, so we took a whole ton of pictures of this thing. What are you supposed to do? Are we supposed to be taking pictures of these? Supposed to save it to the album or something because he doesn't see anything here. He doesn't see a kid alert like we do. Yes. What's new this time? I'll save the results in today's trip to the Pokemon Club. If you collect all the Pokemon sides, you'll be able to enter the secret course. Are you supposed to collect them in the Welcome album back. or something? Is that what we do? One taken, 59 left. Or 
We're supposed to go to the Pokemon report. How do you make them uh, accept the pictures? Number of Pokemon side seed, zero sides. Collected zero Pokemon sides. I'm not 100% sure. Let's go try to get the picture of the uh, Doug Trio side. I'm not sure why. He doesn't uh, accept the side, the picture that we took. We took a whole bunch of pictures of it. Zero sides. Alright. Huh. So we're back. We'll try to uh, collect all of these sides next episode if we can figure out how to do it. Not sure why he's not taking the pictures of them. Uh, 